What is going on, my Bagel Bites? It is Mr. Bagel Bites here, bringing you not another VGC team video, but Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Team DX. I believe that's the title. <laughs> I am so excited for Rescue Team. I have been so excited since the demo was announced. I know it's not VGC related, but I figured I'd put this out here, and if people seem to like it, I'll continue the series. Sometimes they, some people, sometimes people like them, sometimes people don't. So go ahead and throw it up and we'll see what we get. But I am super excited to play this and oh, I love the Mystery Dungeon series. The first two are definitely the best ones. Um, with Explorers being probably a bit better than Rescue Team. But I cannot deny that these games were freaking great. And I'm super excited to play with you guys. Welcome! This portal leads to the world of Pokemon. Before I can let you through, though, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. So what we do is we take a little quiz here, and it'll determine what Pokemon we will be in the game. A delinquent is hassling someone on a busy street. What will you do? Mm. Mm. Call the police seems pretty extreme. They're just being a delinquent. I'm going to say help without hesitation. I'll probably step up and be like, hey, let's uh, let's calm down now. What are we doing here? Do you sometimes run out of things to do all of a sudden? No. <laughs> no, there's always something new to do. <laughs> it is a pleasant day at the beach. How do you feel? Um, you know, I've never really been to a real beach, but I would assume I'd probably like it. Yeah, I'm going to say this feels great. On vacation outings, you want to go with others. I just got back from vacation with my wife. We had a wonderful time. A human hand extends out of the toilet. What will you do? Shake hands with him. <laughs> First, I'd probably be like, whoa, screaming. I wouldn't run, though. I'd be like, what is that? But I'll probably end up shaking hands with it. I'm a little weird. I'd be curious to be like, what's going on here? Also, did you like what you saw? Do you often... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, actually. Um... Do you think you are cool? Be honest. <sighs> Depends on the day. I'm going to say more often than not. I'm going to go with yeah. It's narcissistic, but I'm going to say yes. You have a cheerful personality? <laughs> yes, sir. Why not? Boy or a girl? Uh, I'm going to be a pretty boy. We are going to be the prettiest boy at the prom. Oh, is that it? I felt like there was more. Oh man, let's see, let's see who we get. The brave type. You have a strong sense of justice. You hate evil. You will take on any opponent. You are truly a hero. Go forth for justice, for peace on earth. Fight for, fight the forces of evil. If I'm wrong, work at becoming a true hero. A brave person like you should be. I'm a chop. You know, somebody asked me to play something else. The Machop could be fun, though. I, I'm i trying to remember if we... I feel like we get to pick our partner. It's It's been a minute. Obvi well, obviously, this is the... Uh, the, um, the first one that I'm playing. <sighs> well, I played the demo, and I think I was a mudkip in the demo because the questionnaires are random. You know, I'm going to say no, it's not exactly right. And I'm actually going to leave it up to chance here. I'm going to roll a die. Or not a die. I'm going to get a number generator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Alright, so let's go to Google here. Did I count right? 16? 5? Uh, I think I counted right. I'm going to go to Google. Randomly generate a number. And that will be who I pick. Because the questionnaire is random, like, yeah, it was cool, but like, I've seen a lot of people getting them a chop answer, so I wanna, I kinda wanna spice it up a bit here. Something cool. So I'm gonna. Oh, where is it? Okay. Random number generator, one through. It was, it was 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50. Yep. Yeah. 1 through 16. 
Okay, where is it? Numbergenerator.org. Wow, that sounds like a thing. Go. One. That is Cyndaquil. You know what? I'm okay with that. Let's do it. You appear to be the Pokemon Cyndaquil. Is that correct? You know what? We're going to go with it. I like Cyndaquil. Fire coverage is cool too. Now, do we get to pick our partner? Who would you like to have as a partner? Hmm. So we do just straight up pick. Um. Hmm. That's a tough one. So we're so we're fire based. I don't know what move that like gives us per se. I I feel like Bulbasaur would give us pretty good coverage. I could just do the random number generator again. I could pull it back up. You know what? I'm gonna do just that. I'm going to re-pull up the number generator. And where is it? Oh, yep, here we go. And it's actually one less now. So it's not going to be one through 15. Or, or no, I'm sorry, it is one through 15. So it'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. And go. We got the number four. That is Pikachu. I'm actually pretty okay with that. Electric's pretty good coverage. I don't think we get a lot of electric Pokemon in the game. I'm fine with Pikachu. And Pikachu, uh, you're going to be a pretty girl. Pikachu girl. Yeah. Uh, I never actually had a... Um... Or no, I'm sorry. I was a Meowth in my first playthrough of this back when it was on the Game Boy. And I'm going to name this after, you know what, I'll name it after my wonderful wife, who I love dearly. We are going to name this Melissa. We'll just name, we'll just name him Mel. Boom. Cyndaquil and Pikachu. I like that coverage. Yep. Alright, and I, I was actually a Meowth, yes, in my, in my first Game Boy playthrough. And that was interesting. Because I don't think you can do it in this one. Into the world of Pokemon. Go for it! Whee! Yeah, Meowth and Pikachu, I believe, were my first two when I played uh, Red Mystery Dungeon. And it was... It's its so fun. The story is so cool. And where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. My back's a little warm. I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please wake up. Come on, wake up. You're in my bed. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a... You're finally awake. Great. <laughs> nah. <laughs> to be fair, Cynical's eyes don't really open, per se. <laughs> Where is this? You are passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. Hi, Mel. Happy to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around before. I am yes. Huh? You say you're a human, but you look like... a normal Cyndaquil in every way. What? Oh my god. Oh, look at my back, I'm on fire! <laughs> it's true! I've turned into a Cyndaquil! But why? I don't remember anything. I love the eye animation right there. Um, you're kind of weird. Your name? What's your name? My name? That's right, my name is Cyndaquil. No wonder I turned into one. Uh, we're gonna go with Bagels. Bagel. Oh, there's the S. Z -z -z -z. What could be with a Z? Did I spell my own name wrong? <laughs> Wait. Now, now I'm questioning it. No, it's E-L. Yeah, it definitely is. No, I'm, I'm right. <laughs> Is Bagels okay? Yes. Oh, Bagels your name. Well, isn't that a funny name? That's awful rude. Oh, they have the, the female Pikachu cha uh, tail. I didn't notice that. Oh, your shout's over there. Oh, the, oh, it looks so cool. Just seeing it evolve from the, the Red Rescue Team to this is just such a... 
So, so cool. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so geeked. I love when games get remastered like this. You were attacked by other Pokemon? Who does that? When do Pokemon ever battle? I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? Oh, oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. That sounds bad. We have the help. So I wonder what moves we'll start with. Because there was, a, I think, a Mudkip in my demo run through. Uh, can we just walk around there? Okay. Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is! It is a mystery dungeon! A mystery dungeon is a mysterious place. The layout and items change every time you enter. You can proceed using the stairs, but you'll have to find the stairs first. And you remember that Butterfree said Pokemon in the dungeon attack, right? If necessary, we have to fight. Let's do our best, Bagels. Okay. So let's see... Ooh. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. That's the map. That's not moves. That's moves. So we get Double Kick, Quick Attack, Facade, and Ember. That's... Not bad. That's some pretty cool coverage, especially if Ember has range. Um, oh, do I not get to control my partner? I forget about that. I guess we'll find out. I don't think I can. Let's see if Ember has range. Ooh, it does. Yes, yes. That's exciting. Use a move with A. Oh. Oh, yeah. I think, like, if you press A, it, like, um, tries to optimize something for you. Ooh, it's a fake out. Uh, I think we can like let's see if let's see if I can remember how to do it. We can like face the other way without Oh. I don't know what I just did. <gasps> um is it this? Is it is it left? Okay, it's not. You're supposed to be able to face without actually having to uh attack the uh other person. I'm just gonna pay A and see what they do. Okay, so it just uses Ember. Hey, Pikachu, you want to help? Yeah. I know you can, like, also, uh... I know you can also set, like, your partner to be more aggressive or more passive or follow you and stuff. Uh, I'll probably be updating that to make them more aggressive. Because, <laughs> oh, yellow is... You is yellow. Teammates are green, items are blue, enemies are red. Makes sense. Why? Oh, it's left. Yeah, that's right. Ha! Probably not going to run into any actual... I don't think there's a boss in the first level. I'm pretty sure it's mostly just tutorial on how to navigate a dungeon. Which, who doesn't know how to navigate a dungeon? But... L for auto mode. Oh! Huh. Hold my hand more, please. <laughs> yeah, so I can literally just, like, walk away. That's kind of lame, though. But, uh, it does feel a little bit faster. Oh, if you encounter an enemy Pokemon in the land, I was curious if it would let it attack. I kind of want to try Facade to see the damage. Oh, we get two attacks. Quickly use multiple moves in a row. Why did it do that? And it only counted as one. Is that just a random proc chance? That's interesting if it is. Get some money. Some money. Oh, Oh, so all items are now uh, shown on the map, whether they are, uh, whether you've seen them or not. Oh, no, okay. no, that's not what I wanted anyway. Okay, so we can look to the side, but that's not exactly what I'm going for. So we go for an ember, because we can shoot through walls. Or not through walls exactly, but to the wall, to the wall. Oh, yes, and we can use speed up, too. Um, oh, gosh. I keep messing that up. Ooh, we miss. So we can miss. You won't get sleep napping you on under... Oh, okay. Sweet. So it does still prioritize. And now we can't go to sleep because he uproared. Not that we would want to go to sleep. I feel like the first one's only, like, three. Okay, yeah. Wow, mommy, where are you, Sniffle? We came to rescue you. Huh? Your mom's waiting. Get out. Okay. Alright, we successfully completed the tiny woods. My baby's safe. I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. How about with money? I would like money. It's dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fissures just like that one. 
It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Mel. This is Bagels. He can't speak for himself. Cool. He could light me on fire in an instant. He's, uh, staring at me adoringly. I can't say I blame him. Oh, this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Melon Bagels. I know it isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. Tiny Reviver Seed. A Pecha Berry. And 500 Pokedoves. Yes! We got money! Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you for helping. You're very tough. I sure are impressed. What are you going to do? Do you have any plans? I have no plans. I woke up in this lake. If you don't have any place to stay, you should come with me. Alright. I got nothing better to do. I woke up in the woods, and I'm supposed to be a human. Guess this is better than that. Ooh, wow. I can't explain, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but this place... I feel weirdly happy. Everything's on fire. This feels like you want to wag your tail. It doesn't matter, I'm happy. Maybe I feel that way because I'm a Cyndaquil. Oh, look, I'm shining. You're impressed, aren't you? I thought so. I thought this would make a good place for you to live, Bagels. I killed the previous owner. You can have it. This is your mailbox. They deliver mail from other Pokemon here. Many Pokemon are suffering from these natural disasters. Just like that fissure Caterpie fell into. There have been all sorts of natural disasters recently. I want to do good stuff. Or... <sighs> Let me try that again. I want to do good. I want to help people like that. I want to help make the world a safer place for Pokemon. So, um... When I saw how good you were when you rescued Pat Caterpie, would you like to form a rescue team with me? I think we'd be the world's number one rescue team, Bagels. What do you think? Alright. Okay, done deal. From now on, Bagels, we're partners in our rescue team, and I'm so glad. Our team's name is... I haven't decided on one. What would be a good name for us? Well, a Sparkly Day. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, actually, our team name is... We established it in the demo. We're going with the best team. Team Subscribe. So make sure, if you haven't yet, you hit that subscribe button and that like button to stay up to date on Mr. Bagel Bites content. Team subscribe. Do it, please. And is subscribe, okay? Yes, subscribe. I like it. It's a good name. It's perfect. Oh, and one more thing. I wanted to wear this on the day I got... Wait, I wanted to wear this on the day I got started on a rescue team. I have two of them, so let's put them on. But the scarf he got from Mel. Ooh, I'm adorable. Looks great. Looks great. You wear it well, Bagels. Do you feel focused like we're on the same team together? Rescue team, subscribe. Let's do good starting tomorrow. Yeah. And that is how Bagels and Mel began their careers together as a rescue team. Da, 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 da. I, I can't hear the music, and it makes me really sad, but I know the music in this game is beautiful, so I'm going to assume it's going like... And I love it. The next morning. Oh, it is toasty in here. Look at all this fire. I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still a Cyndaquil. Why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? Hmm, I don't understand this at all. Well, that's right. That Pokemon. I think it was... Mel? We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what Mel's doing. I should go out. Alright, I think that's gonna wrap it up for the first episode of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX Rescue Team Super Extravaganza Special Show. Uh, if you are enjoying it, make sure you hit that like and team subscribe button there. Team subscribe. Um, yeah, if you, want, if you guys want more of the series, make sure... Share the video, like it, show, share the support, because if we don't want it, I, I won't continue it if, if nobody really wants to see it. But I'm excited to play it more. I'm definitely going to be. And if we can all share that together, maybe I'll do a stream of it. Maybe, yeah. If you guys want, even want to do it as like a stream or something, I can plan a day to do like a live stream of it, and we can all like play it together, kind of. But thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. We're so close to hitting that uh, 450 goal by the end of March here, so I hope you consider hitting that button. 
but I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed. And as always, catch you later.